YouTube continues to demonetize many videos. If you like this channel, please click on my Patreon page. Link in the description. Hey Ranger fans, John here. Welcome to Power Rangers Wednesdays, and this is the history of Billy Cranston, the brains of the team, and not to forget, the very first Blue Ranger. This episode will talk about the character and also about the actor who portrayed him as well, David Yost. Let us begin, folks, and remember, spoilers ahead. Mighty Morphin Era. We first saw Billy entering Jason's karate class and sees how Bulk makes a fool out of himself there. Now, Billy is a, a stereotypical nerd who has a very technical speech, and Trini would often translate whenever Zack or the others didn't understand. His closest friend throughout the series was Trini, to whom he could communicate most comfortably and effectively. He was initially very insecure about himself, making him an easy target for people like Bulk and Skull, who, tor who tormented him often in the beginning. The other rangers, especially Trini, defended him loyally, but Billy later evolved to become a stronger individual. He was one of the top members of Angel Grove's High Science Club and often helped its younger members with their experiments. One such example was Willie, a young boy he helped to create a virtual reality simulator for a science fair. In the episode, High Five, Billy not only created the communicators but also the interface that allowed the devices a remote access to the command center's teleportation unit. It was revealed that Due to inexperience in his youth when he was bitten by a fish during an experiment involving whirlpools, Billy developed ichthyophobia, fear of fish. This fear would affect him well into his teens and Rita would use a spell to exacerbate his fear. When he was the last ranger left able to contend with a goo fish monster, Billy overcame the spell and then after helping free his friends and defeat the monster, completely overcame the fear itself on a fishing trip with Ernie, the owner of the youth center. Each of Billy's teammates had a unique skill to offer the team and in Billy's case, it was his vast intelligence. He sought out to improve himself physically and the audience would see him transition over time from the suspenders wearing brain to a confident, hyper intelligent athlete with appreciable fighting skills. Thanks in great part to Trini's uncle Howard, Jason and later Tommy helped Billy graduate to the red belt level in karate. Billy's intelligence will help the Rangers save the world on many occasions. When the command center was damaged, Zordon lost an alpha incapacitated. It was his invention, the rat bug, that allowed the Rangers to travel to the command center. He performed a wide array of tasks ranging from creating the method for which the Rangers would use initially to infiltrate Rita's dark dimension to disarming the lockout mechanism for Alpha's activated self-destruct, and many other achievements. Though Billy did manage to attract girls earlier in his nerd-like persona, it was after he began his journey towards self-improvement that he would garner more attention from romantic interests, even more so than the other members of the team. Billy was accepted into the Young Scientists of America program. He befriended his ex-cousin, Curtis, when he became the newest student at Angel Grove High. Curtis' musical interest, particularly in playing the trumpet, sparked Billy's intrigue into the rhythmic patterns of jazz music. When Lord Zed arrived, he was given control of the Unicorn Thunder Sword, which is an upgrade of his Triceratops Sword. When Zordon and Alpha disappeared, Billy was the one to find a secret door where they were making the White Ranger. While most of the other Rangers were disappointed in a new member suddenly joining them, Billy knew that they needed a new ranger to help them against Zed, regardless of who it was. However, he was happy to find that the White Ranger turned out to be the former teammate, Tommy Oliver. One day, while rollerblading in the park with Tommy and Kimberly, Billy unexpectedly met Rocky De Santos, Aisha Campbell, and Adam Park, and helped to stop a runaway stroller carrying a teacher's baby boy. When Zed kidnapped the new teens, to change them into his own dark warriors, Billy, Tommy, and Kimberly set out to rescue them. Billy entered the cave where the teens were being held and grabbed the evil snake that would turn them evil. However, the snake wrapped itself around Billy's neck and he was forced to remove his helmet to breathe, thus revealing his identity. 
Rocky, Aisha, and Adam swore to keep the Rangers secret and became friends with everyone. When Jason, Trini, and Zach were chosen to attend a peace conference in Switzerland, Billy and the Rangers had to retrieve the Sword of Light to allow the Rangers to transfer their powers. Though Billy was sad to see his teammates leave, he was happily surprised that his new friends would take their place as the new Rangers. When Kimberly fell through a time warp to the days of the Wild West, she would recruit Billy's ancestor William in the 1880s to become the first Blue Ranger when she assembles and takes command of the Wild West Ranger team in the battle against Goldar and several other time-traveling foes. When the Thunder Swords were destroyed by Rito Revolto, Billy and his fellow Rangers went to find Ninjor, creator of the Power Coins. He obtained the new ninja powers and his animal was the Wolf, in which he had control of the Ninja Wolf Sword and later the Blue Shogun Sword. When Master Vile arrived, he was the age along with his fellow Rangers. Billy devised a plan to restore the Rangers' proper age using a machine that ran off the Power Coins. Billy restored himself, but Goldar stole the machine and Set and Rita destroy all six coins. With his Wolf Ninja coin destroyed and his Triceratops Power Coin damaged beyond use, Billy's role changed. He no longer fought as a Power Ranger, but rather acted solely in an advisory and supporting role, acting in this period as a liaison between the Alien Rangers and Earth. In the CO era, Billy retired from being an active Ranger and became an advisor working alongside Alpha 5 and Zordon. He allowed Tanya Sloan to take his place as an active Ranger. He continued in the support he had adopted during the American Rangers time at the Aquitarian Rangers time on Earth, creating and maintaining most of the weaponry, gadgets, and swords the Seal Rangers would use. He traveled briefly to Aquitar to assist the Aquitian Rangers in battling with a race of aliens called the Hydro Contaminators. To do so, he completed a prototype device that Cestro started to defeat them. Upon his return, his ship was diverted by King Mono to fly straight into the sun. From the power chamber, Zordon, Alpha 5, and the Rangers were able to rescue him. Before the Gold Ranger's identity was revealed as Trait of Triforia, several red herrings misled the viewers into believing that the Gold Ranger was Billy. But when Rocky confronted him with his theory, he assured the team that he never have kept such a secret from them and had simply been busy working on a never specified project, most likely the two herbal powers. When Trey returned to Triforia on a sabbatical to try to unify his three selves, Billy was selected to assume Gold Ranger's powers. However, the negative proton energy that his body had absorbed in the command center's explosion prevented him from taking the powers. Instead, Jason, the former Red Ranger, or who being nowhere the command near the command center at the time of its explosion was a safe choice, received the powers. Billy was last seen to be suffering from accelerated aging because the regenerator he used to restore his proper age had a side effect. To counter this, he traveled to Aquatar for a cure from their eternal falls, analogous to the Fountain of Youth, and opted to remain there with Cestria, a female equestrian who, with whom he had fallen in love. Billy was last seen years later in the legendary battle teaming up with the other Rangers from Zeo to Megaforce. And that's pretty much it for Billy. Now, about the actor David Yost, many fans for years wondered why he left until years ago we learned something. David Yost didn't have it easy on the set of the Power Rangers because most of the time the crew would verbally bully and harass him with homophobic slurs. It is also known that sometimes he would try to take his own life during breaks, but thank God he did not because he still had other great things to do aside from Power Rangers. After Power Rangers, David Yost went to be a producer in other shows and even the Fox Couples reality show, Temptation Island. He spent some time in Mexico and there he came to terms with his sexuality. In 2010, David Yost told his story to everyone and he came out as gay. He was supported by his fellow co-stars and many of the Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin to Dino Charge took part in no hate photo shoots. Now, I had my close mind in this towards LGBT people which got me in trouble at one point, but then learned my lesson and became supportive of marriage equality as well. David Yost, I really don't care that you're a gay man. 
You're still the original Blue Ranger to me, now and always. And that, as I say, is that, ladies and gentlemen. Comment, share, subscribe, and support me on Patreon and social media. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. May the power protect you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.